In today's video, I'm going to be talking about IT Cosmetics skincare. Now, I tried out eight products from this line for the past two weeks, actually longer than two weeks because I'm kind of behind on my trials. And as you guys probably know, I'm coming to you barefaced to discuss my experience using these products. Before I get into the product reviews of, the, of each of the eight products, I do wanna talk about my experience. If you wanna pass this, I'll put a timestamp below. But my experience with this brand was actually, it was, kind of, it was kind of strange. I really, really love IT Cosmetics makeup line. Their Bye Bye Foundation is one of my favorite foundations of all time. And I gotta admit that I think I went into this brand with maybe higher expectations than I should have. You know, they, they claim they're developed with plastic surgeons, whatever that means, and I like their makeup, so... I invested a fair chunk of money into this brand, bought a couple of full sizes, bought two of their little mini sets with high expectations. And you know, high expectations are kind of always a dangerous situation. So I think that if I had gone into this with lower expectations, I might have a better overall opinion. Instead, I kind of, I feel a little disappointed to be completely honest in a couple of the products. I still like some. In fact, I, I really think one of these products is phenomenal, but I paid for a full-size product that I really don't love. And to give you guys some background on what I look for when I'm doing these trials, when I'm testing a serum, I really expect to see it work as a treatment on my skin. And when I test moisturizers, I'm kind of looking to see how much they uh, prevent the loss of moisture since that's their main purpose. They often do have other beneficial ingredients. So I did switch over to using this brand's serum. I don't always, sometimes I do not test a serum but I gave it a fair chance, and within a few days, I could see my forehead lines reappearing, which to me indicates that my moisture levels are not what I like them to be. Oh, and since I get asked about my acne kind of often, yes, I do have mild hormonal acne. I have seen a dermatologist for this. I have tried the classic solution of uh, hormonal birth control, and it made me throw up. So, you know, given this crossroads choice of throw up every day or acne. I kind of chose the acne. I don't think it's that bad. And I'm not even surprised that my body had that reaction. It's weird because for as tough as my skin is, my body isn't. Antibiotics have put me in the ER. That's not fun. So while there's other medications I could possibly try, I've decided against it. I do use a retinol every night. And I have not strayed from that for, what, I think it's almost been a year at this point. But I will say I didn't experience any breakouts with this brand, although there is a product in here that I will caution against when we get into the individual product reviews. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the product reviews. And before I do that, I wanna make a comment on every single individual product altogether. That is, every one of these products has an extremely, extremely long ingredients list. I'll put one up on the screen so you can see if you can still see me after I do this. This is a really strange situation. I've never seen anything quite like this with other skincare products. You know, this is kind of beginning to look like a Hoarders episode version skincare. And there's a giant problem in doing this. That is the amount of skincare that you use is so tiny that if you've crammed that skincare product with so many ingredients, at what point do you not see results because there's too little in there to make an impact? And because every one of these products has such a long ingredients list, I kind of feel like I have to switch up the format of this video for two reasons. One, so it's not two hours long. And two, because I'm really not convinced, like I just mentioned, I'm not convinced that you're getting the benefits of these ingredients when they're present in such a small amount. So what I'm gonna do in this video, rather than break down the ingredients that are present and talk about the benefits you may get from using that product, I'm gonna focus more on the ingredients that are early on in the list, which of course means they're present in a higher amount, and we're just gonna overlook the ingredients that are 200 ish ingredients down. They're just not present in a large enough amount to make a difference in both my critical thinking analysis and also my own personal experience. Okay, let's get into the individual product reviews. As I mentioned in the intro, I bought quite a few of the little sets as well as full sizes, but I think that rather than take you through the sets, I'm actually gonna do this kind of comparatively. Uh, I've got three different moisturizers to talk about in terms of which one I think is best for 
which skin type, that sort of situation. So we're, we're just going to kind of jump around in this video. But let's go ahead and start with the Miracle Water. We're going to start strong because I actually really enjoy this product. This is an anti-aging 3-in-1 glow tonic. So basically what this is, is a micellar water. And if you're unfamiliar with micellar water, it's kind of an alternative to your cleanser plus water method. I switched over to this at the beginning of the year. This is what I use is, is any type of micellar water in the morning and then at night I use a heavier cleanser. This has really helped me to prevent more breakouts. I've noticed a reduction in my acne since doing this. I don't know if that will work for every skin type, but for me with my dry but hormonal acne, it works really really well. My skin seems to love it. And what I like so much about this is that rather than stop it being a micellar water, this is kind of a micellar water plus an essence. It has extra benefits to your skin past just cleansing. They claim that this is skin brightening, radiance booster, plus anti-aging treatment essence, plus skin softening micellar cleanser. Not as convinced on the brightening aspect, but I definitely felt the bottom two claims here. I think it's really interesting that IT Cosmetics has kind of gone a little bit of a Korean approach. This product is made in Korea and it uses a lot of fermented ingredients which do deliver benefits to the skin provided that you are not prone to fungal acne, in which case it could break you out. But I really did like this product. It is $38 for 8.5 ounces, so it may not be completely necessary to purchase it. You could definitely keep using a Garnier micellar water plus some type of essence, but I do like that it's all in one. It can kind of speed up your routine if you're looking for that. And I might actually buy the full size of this. I did really like it. Okay, so I got my favorite product out of the way. Let me go ahead and talk about my least favorite, and that is the Bye Bye Lines Serum, which is $59 for one ounce. And I, of course, bought the full size because I had high expectations. I feel really lit down by this. A serum is your treatment. This is the product in your skincare routine that you apply directly after cleansing, toning, using your essence to provide deep nourishment into the skin. It should absorb quickly into the skin. The ingredients should make an impact in your skin. You should really, really see the results of whatever serum you are using. So because that is the intent of a serum, the way that most of them are formulated is Water is your first ingredient, followed by a humectant. A lot of times you'll see glycerin there. Well, for whatever absolutely mind-blowing reason, IT Cosmetics decided to start this product out with water and then a list of silicones. You know, like silicones, what you use in primer to create that barrier between your skin and the foundation. This just doesn't absorb into the skin the way a serum should. And really, I could stop my problem right there because if you don't have good initial ingredients that are going to do what a product should do, then the whole product is going to perform poorly. So never mind the fact that this has all kinds of great ingredients in it. If they're not absorbing into your skin, then they're not doing what they should do. And indeed, that's the problem that I saw with the serum. I really noticed within just a mere couple of days that my forehead lines were back. I worked hard to get rid of those and they came back within just a couple of days. So even though this promises to have peptides, hyaluronic acid, collagen, which is kind of an antiquated ingredient at this point anyway, I don't recommend this. I did not like what this did to my skin. It couldn't even maintain the results of prior products that I'd used. So I was really, really, really disappointed in this serum. I tried out two of the under eye creams from this brand. They have the Bye Bye Under Eye Cream and then the Confidence in an Eye Cream. And I'll go ahead and compare these. Let's start, we'll start with the Bye Bye Under Eye. This product retails for $48 for a half ounce, which is a pretty standard price for an eye cream. We'll get into the claims in a minute, but I have got to say that this has one of the weirdest features that I've ever seen in an eye cream. I talk pretty frequently about how eye creams often will have a tint to them, maybe some light reflective particles, all in the hopes of giving you a really quick cosmetic impact on your under eyes so that they look brighter. Well, with this particular eye cream, they claim an exclusive dark shadow minimizing blue tint visibly lightens the darkest of eye circles. told you that, Jamie. So yes, this product does have a blue tint and I'm so confused by this because under eye circles, especially in a person of lighter skin, are typically purple or guess what, blue. And by color theory, if you want to cancel out a color, you use the opposite. So for example, if you want to cancel out 
redness, you use a green color corrector because it's on the opposite side of the color based off of the color wheel. So I'm over here thinking, who told IT Cosmetics that blue cancels out blue? I don't know what's going on in the world. I'm so confused. Now, all that said, I put this on my eyes today so you could kind of see that it's not really as much of a blue tint as it is a white tint with a little bit of blue. I still don't think it's my favorite in terms of color properties in an eye cream, but that's not really why you should buy an eye cream. That's just an immediate result that's not really telling you what the product does over time. So let's take a quick look at the ingredients. All right, so in the claims, this says it has vitamin C, copper, blue algae, and peptides. It also has in it shea butter, caffeine, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid. Of course, you're seeing there is a lot in this product. Now, there's also retinol in this product, which kind of makes me think you might not want to use this during the day since retinol can increase your sun sensitivity, but they don't also have another eye cream that doesn't contain retinol, so I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure. I think this is part of that problem that you run into when you put a small herb garden into your ingredients list, you might run into putting some ingredients in there that maybe are not optimal for all the 24-hour um, use. Ultimately, I don't hate this eye cream. I do think that it has a lot of good ingredients going on in it, but I think it's probably best for nighttime use, and I really don't understand that blue tint. So next up we have the Confidence in an Eye Cream. This one, for whatever reason, is $38 for a half ounce, making this $10 less. Although, in my experience, the Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer was more for dry or mature skin, while the Bye Bye Redness Moisturizer was less. So I'm, I'm really confused on the pricing with this particular product. To be completely honest with you, there's a lot of similarities in the ingredients to the Bye Bye Under Eye Cream which I guess you're going to run into that again when you're using every ingredient under the sun. I guess one major difference with this is that it kind of seems like the filler ingredients are bumped up a little higher, but it still has a lot of good hydrating ingredients to it. Doesn't have any kind of a tint. I actually, I think I liked this one a little bit more than the Bye Bye Under Eye Cream. I definitely used up more of this. Still contains all of those ingredients I mentioned in the last product. We have shea butter, hyaluronic acid, caffeine, niacinamide, and a bunch of other hydrating ingredients. I mean, I'm more likely to save myself $10 and get this one. I, yeah, I think I liked it more. And then I've got, I think, all three of the moisturizers. The funny thing about this brand is if you're shopping at Ulta versus Sephora, the availability of these is limited to each retailer. I don't know why they did that. That seems really, really random to me. But anyway, we have the Bye Bye Redness, the Confidence in a Cream, and then their newest secret sauce. Bye Bye Redness is $48 for two ounces, which is a fairly affordable moisturizer from a mid-range brand. However, it's this too is a little strange. I will say this. It's green. You guys got it. I knew you had it in you. I knew you could understand color theory. The green tint to this will help to somewhat cancel out redness. It's not going to act in the same way as a color corrector, but it does have a mild effect. But I got a bit confused with this one when looking at the ingredients. They talk about soothing colloidal oatmeal, which we've talked about before. Aloe, cucumber, chamomile, avocado turmeric, collagen, peptides, and 200 other ingredients. I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, but I, I don't really understand why that would be the formula for redness. The impression that I get with this product is that they formulated it to be more for sensitive skin that might be experiencing redness as a result of other skincare, which is quite not formulated for sensitive skin. I feel like 95% of the time when I'm talking about a product, I'm saying this is not for sensitive skin. So I will give it cosmetics credit where credit is due. I think they did a really good job on making a formula that doesn't really have any irritants. However, I'm not sure this is gonna work too well with acne because there are some ingredients in here that might correlate with acne, including coconut oil. But in general, I don't say this too often. I do feel like this is a better product for sensitive skin. And again, therefore, if you're experiencing redness from, you know, using products with alcohol, et cetera, this might suddenly become a miracle product, but it's not 
a direct mechanism on redness. It's more of a removal type of method. I really hope this is making sense. Remove the irritants and you remove the redness. That's what I think they're doing with this product. I will admit that I liked it. I actually finished this one off. I enjoyed that I didn't see any side effects from this. Then we have the Confidence in a Cream, which is the same price, $48 for two ounces. This is supposed to be more for dry to very dry skin types. However, this time you do see some irritants in this formula. Now I will say that I liked how hydrating this is. This is a very rich cream, kind of like the Benefit Total Moisture Cream that I just tried. It's a bit heavy. However, it contains citrus oil and bergamot, and again, these are lower on the list, so maybe they're present in a small enough amount to not notice a problem. But I like to err on the side of caution, I do. So I gotta say once again that I'm hesitant with this product, even though I liked how it felt on my skin, I'm probably not going to purchase it. All right, the last moisturizer I have is their latest and greatest. This is the Secret Sauce Clinically Advanced Miraculous Anti-Aging Moisturizer, and because it is the latest and greatest, it has a $20 price hike from the previous two moisturizers. This is $68 for two ounces, but is it worth it? I think this product is gonna be a real mixed bag. I think that this might actually be a real game changer for some skin types, but I think there are a lot of people who might experience breakouts from this, and that's absolutely what I noticed in reading the reviews. This has a substantial amount of one-star reviews as well as a very large amount of five-star reviews. And the reason for that is that they've put seven fermented ingredients into this. Of course, it's seven. We're talking about eight cosmetics. It's not gonna be two. Uh, but the thing about using a fermented ingredient is that it can really, really impact your skin in a beneficial way if you are not susceptible to fungal acne. If you are, you're probably going to break out. So I'll give them that I like this in theory. This is also in that same vein as the Miracle Water. This is apparently they're trying to develop their products in Korea. I did notice both of these are made in Korea and using that Korean idea of fermentation in your skincare. But there's some criticisms that I have of this product. One being that I look at the ingredients list and I see your fermented ingredients, but they're also way down on the ingredients list. You could certainly buy a product that has them a little bit higher in terms of percentage. Then they also claim that this has collagen, which is kind of an outdated ingredient. We know that collagen doesn't quite do on our skin what we would like it to, what uh, collagen in the skin does. Instead, it's just kind of a moisturizer. Uh, drops of light technology, I hate this type of phrasing. What does that mean? Wh wh what does that mean? Are you trying to tell me that you've got mica in there giving a little bit of a reflection? In the case of this product, it apparently means dime... What are you guys doing? It apparently means diamond powder, although it's really hard for me to see and for me personally, I like the diamond powder that is in the Smashbox Photo Finish Water. I actually kind of see that one here. I really felt like I didn't. Quite possibly because it is way at the bottom of the ingredients along with the peptides. Once again, if they were higher, I would be much more impressed. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of meh on this product. I, I feel like it had so much potential, but once again, this idea of throwing so much into a product and then putting these ingredients that you're emphasizing and highlighting kind of way at the bottom, I, I didn't really, I didn't love it. And considering it's $20 extra, I just, I feel pretty underwhelmed by this. Once again, the products that underwhelm me in this trial are the ones that I spent more money on. So if I'm coming off negative, it's because I feel like I didn't spend my money wisely. Again, I much, much would have rathered that I bought the Bye Bye Redness, which is a pretty nice formula. And let's end this with the Je Ne Sais Quoi Lip Serum. This is $24 for this full size. And uh, this, I liked it. I like that this is that same uh, pump system, well not pump, t twist up system as the Butter London Lip Glaze, which I talked about in a favorites video recently. You get a lot of product really easily applied to your lips. It's got this slight tint to it. It kind of looks pink until it's exposed to air and then it goes on your lips a little bit more red. I found that a little bit odd to be honest because I don't think that this is going to be a product that I really rely on for daily use. I think it's better suited to a night product at which time I'm not really caring if my lips are you know, a gorgeous red shade. I just kind of want to go to bed. It's also polybutene based, which is not my favorite 
ingredient to see listed first. It does have sunflower and castor oils later in the list, but I think that it could be more hydrating. It still is overall hydrating on the lips, but even though I bought the full size of this, I'm probably not going to buy another one. So that is my thoughts on the It Cosmetics brand. I hope that this video is helpful and I hope I didn't come off too negative because one more time, I really do think that both the Miracle Water and the Bye Bye Redness Cream are good products. I liked these. I just kind of feel that in a trial of eight products, I should feel like I liked more than 25% of what I tried. So again, you know, not to come off too harsh on this brand. And again, I'm sure that many of these products work for many people. In my experience, I just felt a little bit disappointed. But as always, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please do make sure you give it a like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, YouTube.